Lee with Shiata Boats. Um, I brought uh, a couple really special projects out here this weekend for Desert Storm. I've got uh, a brand new all mahogany wood deck 24 V drive. Uh, one of uh, four wood deck Shiatas that we've done in the five years. There seems to be a real resurgence and um, interest in this nostalgic uh, hot rod look, uh, along with uh, you know our, our more traditional uh, current fiberglass uh, offerings like the extravagant uh, 21 across the street that you were just looking at with boost power. Uh, this 24 here, our giant 43 next to us, uh, we're, we're fairly well represented here uh, with our product line. But this one here is special to us. This is uh, absolutely as nice as we can build. Uh, this was two years start to finish. Um, it was one year before we were actually able to put our first hole in installation uh, in this boat by the time the deck was finished. The deck is all mahogany, there's no fiberglass. Uh, it's got 18 coats of varnish, 18 coats of clear on top of the varnish. Uh, it's an extravagant piece of work. It's almost so nice we're afraid to put it in the water. Stan, tell us about this. This, uh, this is something very unique. Obviously you're not going to see this anywhere else in the show. So what, what are we looking at here? You're looking at a 24 V-Drive Shiata. It's a wood deck, brand new. It's an African mahogany uh, deck done by Orlin. We did the installation in the interior and the, the bottom, bottom's glass. Um, it's 540 inch EFI uh, turbo motor and it's basically a cocktail cruiser. It's set up to go out, sun's getting ready to go down, you put it on the water and go out and have a good time with your wife. It's in, in family. It's very, a very nice family oriented boat. Well, let's bring over your partner in crime, Lee Spindler. This is Lee Spindler of Shiata Boats. Lee and Stan work together. Lee runs the uh, glass department in Long Beach and interiors. Stan runs the rigging and, and uh, engines and trailers and everything else. So they work hand in hand at two separate facilities, but one company. So Lee, what this boat, how, how many wood decks have you built now? And obviously this has got to be probably the nicest one I've ever seen. Uh, yes, this is uh, the nicest one that we've done. We've done four of these things in the last probably six, six and a half years. This is the first 24 that we've done. The, the others have been 21s. Uh, and this one is, man, this one here is a labor of love. This boat is absolutely perfect. You could not build this boat any better. You could build this boat different. You could not build it better. Well, that's pretty amazing right there. As Stan was talking, uh, he said it's set up for cocktail cruising. We can look in there. Uh, there's two rows of bench seats. Uh, it is a V-Drive, and it's got a turbo motor, so even though it's a cocktail cruiser, it's probably no slouch. Have you guys gone out and run it yet? And uh, what would you get out of it, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, we've run it. Uh, we were running it uh, in L.A., and uh, they really don't... Uh look kindly on us when we run fast, so we did not open it up there, but uh, we're going to be heading down to Parker after this event, and she'll see the floorboard there. What do you figure it'll run? 90, 100, 110? Oh, on the right fuel, it'll run well over 100, no problem. I mean, it's not the lightest boat in the world, but uh, it's plenty fast. She's got lots of guts to her. Very cool. Now you guys obviously brought your 43 with you right down there, and that's a that's a boat that a lot of guys, especially on the East Coast, don't really know a lot about. I've been on it personally, and uh, you know I'm fairly sold on it. But uh, tell us a little bit about the construction of the 43, uh, what power is in it, the speeds you see out of it, and more importantly, the amenities. Uh, one of the things I like, the fact that you don't have to duck when you walk in the thing. So tell us a little bit about how that's constructed and what makes it a Shiata. That, uh, that boat was a, an interesting project. Um, I sat down to design that boat and basically I drew a rectangle and I said this is going to be the cockpit of this boat. We're going to design the boat around the cockpit. You know, growing up on the west coast, growing up in 21 footers, when we started building bigger boats, we wanted to have more room in them than our 21s. And when you looked around the country, uh, particularly on the east coast, the boats did not have any cockpit space. They were still four or five passenger boats, even though they were 20 feet longer than what we grew up playing with on the west coast. That boat is massive. Massive, massive. I, mean, I don't remember how many people we had in that when we went to Catalina, but it had to be 17. and uh, and. Everybody was comfortable. It, it was absolutely amazing, especially when we got there with the sun pad. I got to have these guys go over and take a look at it after we're done with the interview. Tell us a little bit about the hull construction. Uh, 
It's 43 feet, it's massive, but it's not a slouch. It's, it's very, very fast given the power. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's kind of a, an interesting contrast to this uh, mahogany deck 24 foot V drive behind us. Uh, while this boat, you know, weight really wasn't a consideration, that boat, with the amount of square footage in the service area of the boat, weight is a big consideration. As big as that thing is, uh, that boat came in turnkey less fuel at 11,000 pounds, which most most people, uh, when they look at it, you know, they just, they just don't believe it. Uh, it is absolute, you know, short of being carbon fiber and epoxy, which in uh, on the west coast is not a good idea. That's as state of the art as you can build an offshore boat. Now, what's in that for power right now? Uh, it's got uh, V10 Ilmore 625s. And how and how about how? But how fast does it run with those motors in it right now? Uh, we can pull a skier 85 miles an hour. 85 miles an hour pulling skiers or cocktail cruising to Catalina with 18 of your best friends. It does both. It's obviously a world champion, I think nine times over uh, in the Catalina ski race. It's, it's just a phenomenal boat. You got anything you'd like to say before we take off, Stan? No, enjoy the show. <laughs> enjoy the show. Good, on, good act. Good are, you, are you guys going to run that in the poker run, or are you just going to go out and spectate? Uh, we're going to go out and spectate, and, uh, yeah, we will have 20-plus people on the boat. <laughs> Maybe 21. You never know. Yeah. See you later, Lee. Thank you so much. Stan, thank you so take much care. for your time. Take care.